Windmills are all over Iowa. Some are on family farms. A reminder of a time when they were used for pumping water or milling grain. There are huge windmills scattered in groupings around the state, gathering modern day wind energy. And then there's this, an authentic 1848 Danish windmill right here in the middle of Elkhorn, Iowa. A really cool and really big symbol of the Danes or Danish people living here in our state. And there's one more really important place that I want to show you. This is the Museum of Danish America, the National Museum, like the place to come to learn about Danish immigrants. Can you imagine the artifacts like cooking utensils and toys that are inside? Let's go talk to my friend Tova about getting to see some of them. This is a really special place inside the museum called Visual Storage. So if you visit the museum, you don't get to come in here, but you can see everything through the windows from the outside. And Tova is here with me, and we're gonna get to actually pick some of these things up and explore them a little bit, correct? That's right, that's so right. So what types of things are we gonna see today? Well, we're gonna see some things that Danish immigrants brought with them to okay. the United States. Love it. And some other things that were actually made and used here in America okay. that still kind of connect to Danish culture. And, and I am wearing my gloves today mm -hmm. because one of the ways that we keep all of these museum yes. items safe is by not touching them directly with our hands. Mm -hmm. We keep them safe in this big room. We keep them safe in the temperature and keeping a, a safe, cozy environment for them. And that makes sure that they all last for years and years for everyone to enjoy. How old are some of the things in this room? Most of the things in this room are probably around 100 years old. Wow. But some things in this room are 10,000 years old. Wow. We have some things that were part of early Danish culture before history even began. Oh my gosh. Um, from way back in the Stone Age. And these were, these were found um, in Danish farmlands. See, people dug them up and they just proved that people have lived in Denmark for at least 10,000 years. And some of those things came to the United States with families and some of them then were given to our museum. That's incredible. Yeah. Now these I recognized. I played with Barbie and Ken as a kid, so how do these relate to Danish America? Well, it's the American part of Danish America. Okay. We have here two different examples of the types of things that Danish and Danish American kids might play with. And this is actually That's beautiful. a Barbie that has been dressed in a Danish folk costume. So the Barbies would have been made here in America but a Danish family went ahead and created the outfits for them and dressed them in their Danish clothes. That's right. Okay. Yes. So here's Ken. Doll. Here's Ken. <laughs> this is not the clothes you, you go to work in. This would be, okay. you know, and, and quite a long time ago too. This isn't sure. even what people would would have worn when they arrived in the United States as okay. immigrants. So, so this is these are the folk costumes that really um, still get worn if you're doing folk dances okay. for a special okay. occasion or a performance. That's that's when you would see them still in action. All right. These Nissa, they usually wear. Uh, tall red caps and they're dressed in either red or green. They are a long part of the stories and tales that people have shared in Denmark for a long, long time. Okay, so in these stories with these gnomes or Nyssa, what sort of adventures would they be going on? Well, they could often be helpers around okay. the farm if you treat them well. Okay. They could also be mischievous and okay. they could, you know, it's like if you're if you have a missing sock and you don't know where that missing oh. sock went you can blame the nissa that you know what there are mm -hmm. nissa living in my house exactly <laughs> exactly so so the nissa can kind of be blamed for all the little things that go wrong but if you treat them well maybe they'll help you out 
We see Nyssa a lot around Christmas time, okay. around the holidays. And in fact, in Denmark, it's not Santa who brings presents to the kids. It's the Christmas Nyssa, the okay. Eula Nyssa. So, so that's another good reason to treat the Nyssa well. Perfect, Tova, I know what these are. These are Legos. What are they doing in the museum? Well, Legos were invented in Denmark. Wow, you've got to be kidding me, because these are everywhere in Iowa and all over the world. Exactly, exactly. But it's still a Danish company. The headquarters are in Denmark. And so, you know, it's that's why we have them here. That's fantastic. Wow, the Museum of Danish America right here in Iowa has taught me so much about the many ways the Danes have made our state wonderfully unique. Funding for Find Iowa has been provided by the following supporters.